An anti-fish farm activist is accused of violating the quarantine placed around an infected fish farm on Vancouver Island, potentially spreading the deadly virus that forced that farm to suspend operations. Mainstream Canada quarantined its Dixon Bay site north of Tofino last week after the IHN virus was found. But the company says soon after that, an activist who also works as a freelance videographer showed up at the site in a boat breaking the Canadian Food Inspection Agency's quarantine and potentially taking that virus back to the dock in Tofino. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. Have the guts to walk by it! They have scuffled before, both on land and at sea. Now things are heating up again between a Vancouver Island fish farm company and anti-salmon farming activists. These actions by these activists could put the rest of the farms at risk and they could actually spread the disease themselves. The two sides butted heads this morning in Port Alberni where cold salmon were being brought for disposal. 560,000 Atlantic salmon from the Dixon Bay fish farm north of Dufino had to be destroyed. That's because of an outbreak of infectious hematopoietic necrosis or IHN. IHN is very serious for Atlantic salmon. It kills um, almost all the salmon on the farm and, and uh, it, it spreads very rapidly. So it's a big concern for the salmon farmers. The Dixon farm has been under quarantine since the virus was discovered last week and the quarantine extended to surrounding water so that passing vessels wouldn't transfer the virus. The company was furious when the quarantined farm was visited by anti-fish farm activist Warren Rudd on Friday. According to Mainstream, the freelance videographer was at the farm working on behalf of Czech Television. Rudd has been contracted on previous occasions by CTV Vancouver Island. He was told it was a secure uh, facility but he came and docked on the site anyway. Mainstream says Rudd and fellow activists Alexandra Morton and Anissa Reed violated the quarantine again today in Port Alberni when the infected salmon was being offloaded at the compost facility. Even in the presence of RCMP, they continued to step across the line and um, disregarded any biosecurity. But reached today by phone, Morton said she was there to try to get some fish so testing for the disease could be done independently. Her request was denied. But I, I don't understand that. If, if they have IHS and they say it's a natural wild disease, well, there should be no problem in us confirming that. She also expressed concerns in the way the fish were brought into Port Alberni. She claimed some of the trucks used to offload the fish were leaking. She also addressed the videographer's visit to the quarantine farm. I understand this industry would like to have a high level of security around their farms, but the ocean in Canada is just not a place where that is legally possible. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Campbell River.